Good morning, fellow Toastmasters, and welcome guests. Have you ever felt overwhelmed? Is your busy schedule taking control over your life? Well, don't stress about it any longer. Just take a moment to think about your motivation. What do you stand to gain if you get organized? What would you stand to lose if you don't? In reality, we never will have the time to get organized. You need to make the time. You don't have to stop everything you're doing to get started. Just make that decision to start. And maintain the co consistency to follow it through. I would like to begin by mentioning an action plan. Then we would implement a system. And finally, check the milestones. I would start with a one-month plan and I would pick five items that I want most to organize. Number your five items on the list from highest to lowest in priorities. I recommend you use one calendar and two colored markers. I would mark an X as each objective is completed and I would use one color for business objectives and one color for my personal objectives. <clears throat> Your plan can be subdivided further in terms of weeks and narrowed down to daily activities. Be realistic about what you can and can't do within the set time period. After all, you want to eat an orange one slice at a time instead of attempting to swallow it whole. So give yourself a deadline and make the commitment. Write down your approach towards completion of each item on your list. Keep that information posted somewhere where you can easily review it. Writing things down will help lead to an uncluttered mind. Look at what is working for you. If you have been successful in one area, try to incorporate the same in other areas along the process. Always plan ahead. It will save time, money, and reduce stress and frustrations along the way. I would like to further illustrate the point of having a system to manage everyday things and information. Don't worry about having the perfect system to begin with, since the system can always be improved upon. One example is to incorporate a schedule and a to-do list. Organize your schedule around those items that fit with your daily schedule priorities. Schedule the most difficult tasks for that time of day when you have the most energy. Create a master list of the things you want to do. And put the 80-20 principle to work for you. 20% of the items on your master list are going to be of most importance. So if you have 20 things on your master list, pick four items and concentrate on those first. Focus all your energy on getting those items done first. The secret to getting through your to-do list is to have as few items on it as possible. Since once you finish the items, you can always refer back to your master list and add from there. Put technology to work for you. You can always use an electronic organizer. or a USB memory stick, or even software in your computer that will help you 
get organized. For those of you who are more traditional, I would recommend to use a notebook. Mm -hmm. You can get a notebook with divided <coughs> sections and categorize that way. Jot down notes, reminders, frequently used phone numbers. This way, when you have them on a notebook, it's easier and quicker to access the information. Instead of using sticky notes, they tend to get lost. <clears throat> Establish routines and habits that will help you get things done in a timely manner. Here are two examples. One routine that I use is to schedule my most important phone calls at certain times of the day. These phone calls are in conjunction with my priorities. I also check my emails once every hour. A one good habit to keep is to practice maintaining your desk free of clutter at the office. At the end of the day, organize your documents so in the following morning you're ready to start. I would like to ask everyone to close your eyes for just a few seconds. Imagine you are driving on a road trip. As you enjoy the scenery, and make those various stops along the way, you'll start to feel a sense of anticipation. The ultimate destination is getting near. You are counting the milestones as you are driving closer and closer and closer. Open your eyes. You have just arrived. <laughs> Remember how good it felt and the sense of achievement that comes upon you when you arrive. Always keep that end in sight. Alexander Graham Bell once said, before anything, preparation is the key to success. Thank you.